Republicans gathering in Milwaukee to formally nominate former President Donald Trump as their GOP presidential candidate. This just two days after he survived an assassination attempt at a rally in Pennsylvania. The roll call is a formality. The great state of Iowa proudly cast all of its 40 votes for President Donald J. Trump. As the former president clinched the nomination in March. And we now know who will be running alongside Trump as his choice for vice president. Trump choosing Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate. Security at the RNC a top concern after the assassination attempt this weekend, but Secret Service says they do not anticipate a change to their security plans. The investigation into the shooting deepening. The FBI says 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks fired the shots that injured Trump and two other people and killed one man, 50-year-old Corey Comparator. Investigators believe Crooks acted alone with no criminal history or history of mental illness. The FBI looking through phone and computer records, talking to those who knew him, trying to determine a motive. Two law enforcement sources tell ABC News the building where Crooks climbed to the roof and opened fire was the staging area for a local police tactical team there to watch over the crowd. It's unclear how Crooks gained access. The Secret Service is facing major questions of how Crooks was able to get so close to Trump. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is promising an independent review. Now, in that announcement on True Social, Trump talked about Senator Vance's work in the Senate as a businessman and, of course, his book, Hillbilly Elegy. Mary Alice Parks, ABC News, Milwaukee.